Hey guys, it's Joe B. I'm here with the Mach 1, and what I'm going to do here is a, a special multi video series on the uh, life cycle of a body panel. And what I mean by that is, I want to go through how to restore a body panel. Um, I had looked in, uh, online and I, I hadn't seen anything that could just take you through it real fast and let you know the, the exact stages. So here's what I'm going to do. This first part here, I have already removed the passenger side fender. So this is what's going to be what we're going to work on today. This is the passenger side fender of the 1970 Mustang. And what I'm going to do here is, after I've already removed all these pieces off of the fender, first thing we got to do is clean it. So I've got, this is just a spray bottle and it's got dishwashing detergent and water. We're going to clean this thing just like it was a dish. And we want to remove all the wax and grease and other deposits that could be on this thing. So let's go over to here. I've already got my water hose set up. The whole thing is a good spray down. Double check it by hand if you have to to make sure that all the sticky spots are gone. The nice thing about using the dishwashing detergent is it's cheap and it's fast. You can fill the bottle real easily. You want to make sure you get a good, good clean. Now, I will be washing this again. But I wanted to show this to you guys to get the point across. You first start to remove everything. Bolts, clips, emblems, and then Give yourself a nice wax and degrease to get all that taken down. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over and I'm going to wipe it down by hand to get all the moisture, the, the, the standing liquid off. Once I get the standing liquid off, I'm going to lay it in the sun. That's to avoid flash rust. The sun is going to heat the metal and it's going to make that water evaporate before I have to deal with a rust problem. So let's go start doing that. Oh, gosh, I should have picked a smaller piece. <laughs> carrying this heavy fender in one hand and the camera in the other hand. The end cap to this is aluminum, but the actual fender, oh boy. I don't even think this is 14 gauge steel. I think it's more than that. Oh, okay. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna lay it right here in the sun. Take a different cloth, clean and dry, wipe all the water off. This is a stage that is critically important to make sure your panels are wiped clean. Don't worry so much if you see any rust on it right now, just make sure it's clean, okay? You really want to be anal about it. After you can see that it's starting to dry, flip it over and let the sun work on the bottom. You need to avoid the flash rust. And yes, I will be scrubbing the bottom side. Just get that undercoating off of there because somebody has great scrubberized undercoating. We'll let that piece dry in the sun for at least 15 minutes until it's nice and clean. Then I can start working on it with the, uh, I'll probably use a grinder with a wire brush to remove that stuff from the bottom of the panel. And I will probably also use that wire brush here to clean that off too. Rust removal, it's all surface rust, so I don't have to worry about anything structural. 